pull up Matthew 6.13. And again, we're not going to be able to cover all the background of these verses, but I just want to highlight just a few examples of how Greek impacts different areas of your walk in, as, you, as a Christian. So very familiar Lord's Prayer, right? Doesn't get any more known or common than this. Mm-hmm. Well, if you pull up different translations, I actually wonder, is there a way you can pull up, like if, if I were to show a couple different, like two different translations just to show yep. the difference? Yep, okay, I sure, perfect. I sure can. Which one, which translations do you want? So you can leave that one up. Uh, I'm assuming that's the KJV or the ESV. That's um, the NASB. NASB. Okay, uh, perfect. And then maybe pull up uh, the NIV just as a different, NIV. as another one. Um, yeah. Or the New King James or... Where is it? I know it's on. Okay, there's New King James, and I'll pull up. You want me also? You say also NIV. Oh no, those two are fine. I'm just going to show the difference of. Okay. So and if yeah. So if you see the difference, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from. Is it evil, like just in general, mm-hmm. or is it from the evil one? So even the Lord's prayer. So Greek can affect your prayer life, and, and this is just one example, and so. It's very clear in Greek what it is. It's not speaking about evil in general. Uh, Corey, if you go back to your days of circling articles, do you see an (laughs) article there before evil? There it is. You do. And as we talked about, articles are never meaningless. So it's actually saying it's a specific type. Actually, not just a specific type. It's the evil one himself. And so most of your translations will say, most of your more recent translations will put the evil one because that's what the Greek is reflecting. But not all of them have picked up on that nuance because sometimes, and again, some people are like, wait a second, you're pointing out things. How did this committee over this Bible translation didn't get it right? Sometimes you're on autopilot, right? We've memorized the Lord's Prayer or we've, we've, mm-hmm. we've looked at a certain passage so many times and you can be on autopilot even as a tra- in, in a transla- as a translation committee because this isn't a hotly debated verse. This isn't something everybody's up in arms about. And so that's one explanation. There's many others. But just even that should excite somebody to, huh, that's yeah. a new— that, Am I saying the Lord's Prayer wrong? <laughs> Deliver us from the evil one. 